the Hilbert Beef Humphrey Memorial Inter-Primary School Football Competition concluded last Wednesday. More details in this report. On Wednesday, the final leg of the Hilbert Beef Humphrey Memorial Inter-Primary Schools Football Tournament was held at the All Saints Church Ground, Princess Elizabeth Road, New Amsterdam. The results for the matches played are as follows. On Monday, All Saints Primary defeated St. Aloysius Primary by T. John Reed's double. Fort Ordnance Primary gained a walk over St. Therese who failed to show up and All Saints defeated Fort Ordnance Primary School by four goals to nil. On Tuesday, St. Aloysius emerged victorious over Fort Ordnance Primary School by a Shamar Taylor goal and All Saints Primary won against St. Therese Primary 5-0. On Wednesday, St. Aloysius gained another walkover from St. Therese Primary, who did not show up. However, a short match was played between St. Aloysius and the winning school, All Saints Primary. At the presentation ceremony held on Wednesday, Secretary of the Hearts of Oak Masters Football Club, Mr. Kenrick Bowery, called on the Football Administration of Guyana to invest in the development of football in schools. We come to the end of a wonderful tournament, the Hilbert Humphrey Memorial Tournament. And from this we have seen that there is a lot of talent in, in our schools. And I would now call on the administrators of football, Guyana, Borbies, even FIFA, to spend some money too polish these diamonds that we have found today. Y'all give yourself a round of applause because y'all did extremely well. Because if, if we do not um, invest in our youths where football is concerned, a couple years down the road we will have nothing. That is my message to the football administrators. It's time we start paying attention to the football at the bottom, then we can see how, what we how good we can get better at the top. Because right now, look at Guyana is number one in the country, in the world. Must be 199 are passed though. And I certain if we pay attention to the youth here, we can move from that figure and we can come to like 10 and 12. We can start beating places like Trinidad and Jamaica, etc., etc. Mr. Barry also disclosed that come next year, the club will be holding female football competitions in addition to male competitions. On the heart of works pass. We're going to promise next year that we are not going to leave out the females. And that next year, come if we have a male competition, we can somehow and some way have a competition also to fe for females so that girls could also partake in playing the soccer. So, ladies, you will not be left out from next year. We're going to ensure that we include you in that. The lack of participation in the competition from certain schools was also highlighted by President of the club, Mr. Neil Humphrey. I'm disappointed with the rest of the schools that was invited here. They didn't show up. I don't know why. They need to expose the kids. Now, like I've been saying all the time, the teachers, some of the teachers in the schools, only <laughs> take part in sports. No, only take part in sports when it's school time. After school, they've been giving no free time to the kids, and they need that. The first place trophy and 15 gold medals were awarded to the winning school, All Saints Primary, while St. Aloysius Primary walked away with the second place trophy and 15 silver medals. The Most Valuable Player Trophy was awarded to T. John Reed of All Saints Primary School, who also received a trophy for the most goals scored. In addition, Ashley Grimmond of St. Aloysius Primary School was awarded a trophy for the best keeper. Sasha Ramsavan reporting for Channel 8 News.